with all welcome to soumya tutorials class second puc state syllabus multiple choice questions this is the session number 3 chapter 3 logic gates so in this chapter number 3 the logic gate first we have to discuss we discussing about some of the concepts within this chapter the first thing is that what is a gate the gate we can also called as the logic gate what is a logic gate the logic gate is simply an electronic circuit which operates on one or more signals and always produces an output signal in other words gates are a digital circuits because input and output signals are either it is the low voltage the low voltage is denoted by the value zero or the high voltage high voltage is denoted by the value one so that simply gates are often called as the logic circuit because they can be analyzed with the boolean algebra the logic gate it is a simply an electronic circuit which operates on one or more signal and always produces a output signal this logic gate are classified into a two different types one is a basic gates one more it is an a derived gates so first thing here is that basic gates there are three different types so the basic gates the first is the not gate we can also called as a inverter second one is or gate third one is and gate then the second category derived gate so there are four derived gates the one is an nor gate second one is nand gate third it is exclusive or gate fourth one is exclusive nor gate first thing here is that basic gate the first basic gate it is a not gate we can also called as inverter what is an inverter the inverter it is also called as a not gate because the output is not same as the input the output state which is always opposite to the input state so that we can call it as a not gate so not gate we can also called as the complement of the input state here is that an inverter gate it has only a one input signal and always produces on the one output signal so in this output state which is always opposite to an input state so that here is the truth table and also logic diagram of an the not gate so that the highlighter will shows that here this is the logic diagram of the not gate this is a truth table when we have to inputting the zero we can get the output 1 when we have to inputting the value 1 we can get the output 0 so that in simple definition here is that the output state which is always opposite of an input state the low output it produces the high output the high input which produces the low output and vice versa so this is the logic diagram and truth table of a the not gate second basic gate it is a or gate or gate we can also called as a the logical addition so in this or gate it has the two or more input signals but only one output signal if one or more input signals are in one the output signal is also one so in simple definitions here is that or gate as a two or more input signals but it has only a one output signal so here is the logic diagram and also the truth table of this or gate so this is a logic representation logic diagram of an or gate truth table here is that when the both the inputs are zero the result is zero otherwise the results are true so here the plus it is a operator which is used for representing the logical addition that is a or operation so here is that when the both the operands are zero when the both the operands are zero we can get the value 1 otherwise any one of the operand is 1 we can get the value 1 as a output 
this is we can call it as or cage third one is the and gate so and gate it can also have the two or more input signal and produces one output signal when all the inputs are i the result is an high otherwise the output is the low so this is the logical diagram of an the and gate and gate we can also called as a the logical multiplication so this is a true table here is that when the both the operands are one the result is one so when the both the inputs are one the output is one otherwise the outputs are zero so this is this is the true table of a, the and gate then the nor nor is a derived gate it is an example for a the derived gate so that the nor gate it is nothing but a or plus not gate so that we can call it as a inverter or gate this means that or gate is always followed by the not gate to give a nor gate so here also the nor gate has a two or more input signal and also produces only the one output signal so when it is true and when it is false here is the logic diagram of a then or gate so in this diagram which represents this is a or gate which is followed by the not gate so in simple we can call it as a the nor gate this is a logic table of this the nor gate when when it is true and when it is false here is that when the both the operands are zero the output is one otherwise the outputs are zero this is a true table of an the nor gate then the nand gate this is the second example of an the derived gate here is that nand gate means what nand which means that not plus and gate in simply we can call it as a inverted and gate so this means that and gate which is followed by the not gate so here is the logic diagram of an the nand gate so here also the nand gate it has a two or more input signal and it also produces only one output signals so this is a logic diagram of the nand gate this is and gate which is followed by the not gate we can call it as this the nand gate so here is the truth table of the nand gate so when it is true and when it is false when the both the operands are one the output is zero otherwise the outputs are one this is a true table representation of a the nand gate then this is a third derived gate that is called exclusive or gate exclusive or gate it also having the two or more input signals but always produces only one output signals so exclusive or gate it is a different form of an or gate here or gate it produces output one for an any input combination having the one or more ones but the exclusive or gate it produces output one when it is only those the input combinations have the odd numbers so when the here is the logic diagram of an exclusive or gate this is a true table here you can see that when the both the inputs are zero the result is zero when the both the inputs are one the result is also zero so when it is true when the both the inputs are odd one it is zero and one it is one so either it is one or the zero when the both the inputs are odd numbers so that we can get the value one so that when it is true when the both the inputs are odd when that condition the result is always true otherwise the results are false when both the inputs are same the result is false the both the inputs are different that is when that the result is a true then exclusive or gate it is opposite to an exclusive or gate so exclusive or gate it is followed by the not gate that we, that is called as the exclusive or gate here also exclusive or gate is a logically equivalent to an inverter exclusive or exclusive nor it produces one as output when the input combinations are even numbers it is opposite to an exclusive or gate this is a logical representation of a exclusive nor gate to table when the both the inputs are same when the both the inputs are same that condition the result is a true when the both the inputs are different that condition that is the results is a false that is the true table of an exclusive nor statement then nand and nor as a universal gate so what is universal gate the universal gate it is the gate using which all the basic gates can be designed 
the nand and nor gates are called as the universe gate so in simply we can call it as that the basic gates that is and or and not it can be easily implemented using either it is a nand or it is a nor thus the nand and nor gates we can call it as a universal gate so the next slide here is that the multiple choice questions <clears throat> the first question is that which among the following is a basic gate the options are nand nor not and exclusive all or already i told that what are the basic gates and what are the derived gates and what are the universal gates already i told that here is that which among the following is a basic gate so options are option a nand option b nor option c not option d exclusive or so which is the correct answer the correct answer is not so the basic gates are and or and not so in our choices the not is present here so that the correct answer is a not the nand it is a derived gate nor it is also derived gate exclusive or it is also derived gate so in this option the not is a basic gate second question the other name of not is not gate is what the options are neglect gate b inverter gate c exclusive or gate d exclusive nor gate the correct answer is option b inverter gate the not gate we can also call it as a inverter gate so that is the correct answer is option b oh, third question the universal gate among these is what are the universal gate nor exclusive or not and also or which one is the correct answer answer is option number a that is nor so universal gate the basic gates which are and or and not which are easily implemented by using the nand and nor gate that are all we can call it as a universal gate here the correct option is nor the nor is a universal gate here the exclusive nor it is a derived gate not is a basic gate or is also a basic gate the correct answer is the option a next question which group is represented as a universal gate so options are and and or option b nand and nor option c not nor and nand option d and or and or so in this four options which group is represented as a universal gate already i told that so what are and the universal gate the correct and option is that option b nand and nor fifth question identify the correct statement exclusive or it is a universal gate is this true wrong exclusive nor it is a basic gate is this true this is also wrong exclusive or is a derived gate yes it is true exclusive or is a basic gate this is a wrong so correct option is option number c exclusive or is a derived gate then the sixth question the basic gates are the options are and or or not option b and or nor option c exclusive or and exclusive nor option d none of these so correct answer is that option number a and or and nor then sixth seventh question which of the following is not a logic gate which of the following is not a logic gate so logic gates are and or and not these the are the logic gates in our options option number c it is not an the logic gate the correct answer is option number c if is not a logic gate eighth question dash input values will causes an and logic gate to produces i output so dash input values will causes an and not logic gate will to produces high output that means that so when and logic gate it produces a high value when the both operands are one the result will be one when the both operands are high the result is high so that one one so option a at least one input is i this is wrong at least one input is low this is also wrong 
all inputs are high this is right all inputs are low this is this is also wrong so that the correct answer is option number c all inputs are high question number 9 dash input values will cause us an or logic gate to produce this high output so when it is true and when it is false in the uh, or logic gate here is that when the both operands are zero the result is zero otherwise the, all the results are true that means that any one of the result is high sorry any one of the input is high the result is high when the both the operands are the low the result is low so that at least one input is high this is correct at least one input is low this is wrong all the inputs are high this is wrong all inputs are low this is also wrong the correct option is that at least one input is high the results are high the next question is that the basic logic gate whose output is the complement of the input state so what are the options here or gate and gate inverter gate and the comparator so here is that the correct answer is that option number c so basic gate so basic gate whose input is an a complement of the whose output is an a complement of the input state this is an a nor gate nor gate we can also called as a inverter gate so that the correct answer is inverter gate thank you if you like my videos please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for the notification of the new videos